Hey, everybody, welcome to a new Comic Crusader special. And today, you don't, need, oh, man, this guy over here, you have no idea. He's an Academy Award <laughs> winner. You know, he did Feast. Um, you know, that was one of his first projects at Disney. And kind of a coincidence is kind of who's working on this particular new project, right? He's done Pearl, Imaginary Men. I mean, he got some stuff coming in the future. But right now, you know what he got doing? He's at that awesome uh, Billy Eilish project. I'm happy to introduce the one and only Patrick Osborne. What's up, Papo? How you doing? Hi, how are you? Thanks for having me here. <laughs> I, I, I'm happy to have you on, brother. Listen, you're doing some big things, man. Uh, I'm happy to have you on. Like, you came onto the scene and blew it up kind of immediately with, with, with your animated short. And now you're doing something big with this young superstar right here in Billy Island. <laughs> so how does that feel, man, coming up, you know, like that in the ranks? You know, I had been uh, a, a character animator at Sony animation and at Disney for about 15 years before I even got a shot at directing. So I had done uh, wow, 15 and, and, years in the game already before you got yeah, the well, shot. I, wow. I was an animator just actually okay. like do it, doing shots, you know, working on uh, all kinds of different movies, but the um, you know, to get to make something on your own is a totally different, totally different deal. And it was, it was really cool to get the chance to do that. And then to, um, you know, leave out into the world, try to make my own stuff and, you know, one thing led to another and ended up getting pulled into this pretty awesome uh, concert film for Billy. Yeah, how did cool. you even get pulled into this? Because I know you're an awesome animator, so of course they're going to try to get the best in the business. So that's where you come in. But how did you feel when they approached you with this? Were you familiar with the artist, the music and all that? Yeah, I had been working on a movie, uh, you know, a, a graphic novel, novel adaptation, and we had done storyboard oh, reels nice. for it. Um this movie called Nimona and um, I had actually even like we, when you're making a movie, you, you do boards and you get a lot of temp music ready and you use whatever music is out there to, you know, kind of get a vibe of the film. So I had used Billy's stuff before just as like uh, getting a mood of, of movies I had been worked on. So I, I love her, her music and, um, and she really, she really kind of felt like a vibe, a good vibe for that, that story as well. But um and, and since uh, that kind of dissolved for me in the uh, Fox Disney merger thing, it was a Fox project. And, wow. um, and so I'd been working with this company called Nexus, which is a London kind of boutique animation company. Okay. And they had been talking to Disney plus about doing something. And I was, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, getting to do something like this is, is being available and excited to do it at the right time. Like it's a lot of, um, you know, timing just kind of working out, you know, I had the, um, the three months to do it. Cause it, this started only like 13 weeks ago and it's finished now. So nice. it's a very fast project for, you know, animation standards. I, so how much different is that from, from, you know, and you know, the, what you normally do to not doing a music project on this scale, you know, with such an, with an artist like this, how, is the, is the project any different the way that you work it? Yeah, I mean, this was uh, a sprint to the finish line. Normally, animation is a four or five year endeavor for a feature oh, wow. film. This isn't this isn't a feature. It's an you know about an hour long, um, and it doesn't have that you know it's not full animation the entire time. There's a lot of you know, obviously the songs take of most course. of the time. So uh, this is really just how can we uh, you know Billy and Interscope and Disney wanted to do something that felt special for a concert film, something that felt her. Billy loves animation. She loves, uh, she w referenced when we started stuff like uh, Jessica Rabbit, like okay. uh, Ralph Bakshi, Cool World, like 80s, cool, ro <laughs> 80s rotoscopes. Yeah, 80s rotoscopes animation was her like touchstone oh, for that stuff, which is, you know, like to her, I think ancient history, that stuff was made 20 years before she was alive um you know i was a a little kid when that's we were nothing out. but and, ceilings uh, then right you know <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah well yeah and i think i think that um you know to kind of go a little retro with it but use modern techniques uh was was a, a neat idea and you know very early on and just having conversations with robert rodriguez about what we were trying to do we're, we're trying to make sure the music takes forefront and that you know, Billy wanted these animated scenes in between the songs. And uh, we tried to kind of feed a, a little feeling of a story in there, but it's really about vibe. It's about mood and, awesome. uh, and getting these two versions of herself, like a live one on stage and an animated one. Um, wouldn't it be cool to kind of play them off each other a little bit? So the, when you watch the, 
the concert film, it's it's animated animation song, animation song, and then the very end we have a little uh, kind of finale moment uh, where they kind of collide a little bit, um, and, and it was really cool to get to get to do. Not something I'd ever thought I would end up doing, honestly. So. So let me ask you, was this the first time you also worked with Mr. Rodriguez, who I also spoke to about the project? And if so, yeah. you know, how did that feel? You know, you know, doing with the one man film crew himself, the legend. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he is, he is legendary. And he's also, uh, you know, he is, his reputation is for being a really great person to be around and to work with, too. And he definitely lived up to that. He's, you know, very generous and awesome to to work with. And, you know. Uh, him and his family, because he, he, you know, his family is involved in a lot. His daughter Rhiannon even did some design work for this, which is really, really yes. Cool you to mentioned have. that. That's great. Yeah. I mean, to have a dad in the business and say, "Hey, kiddo, you know, let, let me put you on," and, and you know, that that's fantastic. Stepping stones right there for the future. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, and he's like, you know, got his family film crew, which is really, you know, that's a pretty cool thing to to get to to build. Well, uh, I know you're I, building you know, a family. Are you are you gonna have your kids <laughs> be in your film crew? What's going on? <laughs> I don't. You know, they're so young. Uh, whatever they end up wanting to do uh, with their lives is cool with me. You know, but I think uh, you know, I hope to inspire a little bit. My dad was a toy designer. Uh, he Sailor. worked. He worked at the company called Kenner um, that made like Star Wars toys. And Please stuff. tell so, me you will get some um, cool stuff from Papa Dukes. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Like he still got that a lot of that stuff. But he, um, you know, I used to draw with my dad, and you know, nice. I think I think that creative drive kind of ended up being in me and a part of what I reason I do this stuff. So uh, maybe the kids you. will go Are that you? way. You're a hell of an animator. Let me ask you. So what was one of those early inspirations in your life that, that made you kind of, that you saw and in your mind, you're like, I want to do this. Um, for me, it was Jurassic Park. I, I, that was, ah. that came out um, when I was in, you know, junior high. It was definitely like a thing where you're like, oh, this is something I, I, I had, I had the the, uh, the making of book that had storyboard drawings. And I'm like, oh, there's like a lot of artwork that, and work that goes into this. I like to do drawing like that. Maybe there's like a way to have a career in visual effects and, and animation. In the same year, Toy Story came out too. So like both of those two things, I was a you know video game nerd and a computer kid. Oh, and, what's your and, game? Like, what's draw. your game? What's your I was game? An, I was a Nintendo uh, okay. person. So like Metroid and Zelda and stuff like that were nice. my, those were my things when I was, you know, 10. But, um, and I still love those actually. But uh <laughs> Yeah, I, I saw okay. Jurassic Park, and that was that was. I was like, I want to, I want to make it. And um, my four year old actually like really loves the Jurassic Park stuff too. So it's really cool to see that that Isn't works. That awesome? though, he, though he hasn't really watched the real one, he likes the the Netflix stuff. But oh, um, the Netflix. Ah, yeah. oh, poor kid. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> You'll teach him. He'll, they'll learn. They'll learn. <laughs> yeah. So what else do we have in the future for you, man? Outside of the awesome Bully Eyes <laughs> project, which is every September 3rd on Disney Plus. I mean, you guys got to yeah. catch it. It's going to be amazing. You're going to have Robert Rodriguez. You got Patrick Osborne. You got the Billy Eilish with an orchestra. I mean, were you yeah. there? Did you hear the orchestra? Have we you were, you know, one of the best things about doing something like this is getting to sit there and watch the orchestra play for, we were there for five straight nights Ooh. from like 7 p.m. to like three in the morning watching um, the orchestra play and watching Billy and Phineas and Andrew, the drummer, perform. And uh, yeah, that's no, it's super cool. I, I, that's the, the perks are like that kind of, that's one of the reasons to sign up in the first place. Like I get to watch like a private show for, for five straight nights. It was amazing. And um, yeah, yeah, I'm doing. I, this is coming out. I've got um, I've got an episode of Love, Death, and Robots coming out in the fall. Um, Ooh, you are on that, the, kiddo? Um, nice. I'm, I I'm love on that, that series. With, um, nice. With David Fincher and and um, and Tim and you know I I it's a really fun it's a really cool one. I'm excited to to get to show that whenever it uh, whenever it drops. I have no idea when it's coming out, but in the fall sometime. Sometime and, in the um, fall. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm working on a couple of TV shows and a movie, but, you know, those are all way farther away and uh, take a lot of time. Cool thing about doing this Billy thing that was like, we're doing it now. It's going to be cool. We need your help. Let's do it. And I love projects that happen like that where there's like, you know, this is out in a couple months. So we just yes. have to make it like all the other things a director works on just are just like years and years of, uh, of planning and pitching and, 
you know, you don't even know it's going to work out. So something that's, that had, uh, had sort of this kind of pedigree and exposure, but you know, a, an actual like deadline. Awesome. Like the, that's the best kind of stuff. Yeah. You stay right? focused, right? Like I'm going to get it yeah. done, kiddo. I love it. All right. So, you know, yeah. obviously I'm called, we're, we're called comic crusaders here. So I got to ask you, man, uh, there, there's some stuff going on. Are, are, are you really working <laughs> on Pope Pope's battling? Uh, what was it? Uh, the, the battling Pope? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, I, I, that's no longer happening with me. I oh. did hear, you know, I, I got a different movie green line. So I had to, uh, I had to jettison that uh, project, uh, but you know, every once in a while that happens, but I, I heard from Paul a couple of weeks ago. I, I, it's not, it's not dead. It's still, Yay. there's still people working on it, which is awesome. I, I love Paul. I think battling boy is an incredible story. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see, uh, you know, what, what they do with it. Um, it's different than what I was doing, but I think in a great way. So, um, which gotcha. would be cool. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, that, that was that was. I I spent a couple of years, you know, working on um, getting a script and some artwork together for that. That you know, maybe someday someone will see. <laughs> yeah, let's let's make it happen. And all right. So before we go, my last question for you is this: Then, if yeah. you could work on any character ever from any point in history, any character, alive, oh, dead, you know, fake. You know, superhero, robot, don't no matter what, what would you want to work on? What's your ideal? Let, let, let's let's tell the world this is what you want. That's, so a, that's a tough question. You know, <laughs> um, you know, I've always thought I've always loved Peter Pan, the original Disney Peter Pan. Ooh. I think it's such a magical story. I I uh, I you know, the Disney remakes everything. I don't want, I don't want them to remake everything necessarily, but uh, I think the new Peter Pan would be cool, but I did hear that David Laurie is doing it mm. recently. So, uh, and I love his stuff from Green Knight and Ghost Story. So I think he'll do an awesome job. I would love to do, um, there are these um, books by Lloyd Alexander, the High King series. They're, they're children's novels from the eighties. Okay. Uh, there's one of them that Disney did try to make called The Black Cauldron, but that's one in oh, five. Yes. And the Black Cauldron sucked as an animated movie, so I would want to I would want to re remake the Black Cauldron and do gotcha. it. Do you want to erase it from history? <laughs> yeah, but I, I would actually I would actually want to make the High King, which is the fifth book of the series, uh, the Chronicles of Perdane. They're called. They're like Harry Potter before Harry Potter. Gotcha. Uh, like you know, from I read them when I was like five or six years old, and I, they stuck with me since then. They're really awesome children's novels. So you have spoken it out to the world, Patrick. Yes, yes, yeah, make spoken it. Happen, it. Man. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, <laughs> brother. Let me right. thank you so much for your time. I can't wait to see you know what you've contributed sure. to to the Billy Eilish concert again, folks. Disney Plus, September third. Don't miss out. I mean, it's Robert Rodriguez, it's Patrick Osborne, and of course, the superstar herself, Billy Eilish, with an orchestra. I mean, it, it's intimate. It's fire. It's animated. Yep. It, it's come on, man. It's it's gonna be amazing. So please Super make cool. sure to take a visit. And Patrick, thank you again for your time, y'all. I really do appreciate it. God bless, brother. All right. Thank you. Thank See you, you later, man. Bye.